Okay, so um, we're going to talk a little bit about scientific notation because there are some things in chemistry that you'll encounter that involve scientific notation. So this is going to be a little overview of that. So if you were to look at this prompt where it asks you to write the message below using 40 spaces and letters, um, and you have this phrase um, or this little uh, statement, little tiny paragraph, Hey friend, I have a chemistry class with this crazy teacher. She is making us memorize 50 elements on the periodic table in two weeks. Okay, so if you wanted to text that message to a friend, um, you would abbreviate a lot of things, right? Like maybe you wouldn't say chemistry, just say chem, or um, you know, you wouldn't necessarily uh, use the letter or the word two. You'd put a two there. You probably would leave out this first little thing. Hey friend. So you just make some modifications, some abbreviations to shorten it. So that's essentially what scientific notation does for us. Scientific um, notation allows us to take a really, really small number or a really, really big number and put it in a shorter abbreviated form that still has the same value. So to do scientific notation, um, you need a coefficient and an exponent. Um, coefficient is this thing that is in front out here, and then the exponent is over here at the top. So we've got um, our coefficient, and then times 10 is always going to be there, and then an exponent that is um, some number. And just a reminder, um, if you haven't seen scientific notation in a while, the coefficient, so this front number, it has to be between 1 and 9.9. .9. So you can't have like 10 as a coefficient, or you can't have like 0.01 as a coefficient. These are no-goes. You cannot have that. Okay, it has to be between 1 and 9.9. .9. So go to the first number um, that's not a zero in your number, and then just put a decimal behind it. All right, so this whole um, what, what's the uh, char, or the, not the charge, but what's the value of my exponent? Is it positive or negative? I know that um, in some middle school classes that you guys have been taught how to do this differently. I'm going to teach you it my way, but as long as you understand it, it really doesn't matter. So if it's a negative exponent, what that tells you is you're going to have a really tiny number, negative, really small. So like my bank account has um, a really, really small amount of money in it. That's a very negative thing for me, right? So negative, very small. So it's going to move, uh, your exponent is going to tell you which direction to move your decimal so that you end up with a really small number. Um, if it's a positive one, then that, that's a good thing, right? Um, so positive would be you have a number that's bigger than one. So if I have a very large amount of money in my um, bank account, I'm very excited, I'm very happy, that's a positive thing. So I should have a positive exponent if I have a number bigger than one. So I'm gonna move my decimal, the number of places that it needs to be moved to, um, and this tells us our number of places, right? Our exponent tells us how many places we move the decimal. And it's going to tell us which direction to use it based on if it's positive or negative. So let's look at some examples. So if I have these, um, these four problems here. So the first set says put into standard notation. That means take it out of scientific notation. So I look here. I've got my coefficient, 6.02. And then I've got this 5 up here. This 5 is telling me I'm going to move my decimal 5 times on this 6.02. So on my 6.02, I'm going to move my decimal 5 times. And remember, it's positive. Positive means my number is going to be a big number, bigger than 1. So I'm going to move my decimal 5 places this way so that um, it becomes a larger number. And in these little spaces, you're just dropping zeros. So your number um, out of scientific notation is 602000, so 602,000. All right, down below on the next one, it has a negative 5. So we're still going to move it 5 places, but this time, because it's negative, we want to make our number smaller. Okay, so I've got 6.02, that's my coefficient, and I'm going to move this decimal 5 times to make it smaller. So 1, 2, Three, four, five. All right, there's my new decimal spot. Again, all these blank spaces, zeros get put in. And that's my new number. So my new number is 
point zero 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 six zero two. Okay. All right. Now, putting into scientific notation is a little bit different because you have to be mindful of making the coefficient. You have to make that coefficient between 1 and 9.9999 uh, and repeating, right? Um, so if we look at this first number, okay, we see right here, there's our first set of numbers that aren't zeros, right? Right there. So take the first number that's not a zero, that would be the 3, and plop a decimal behind it. So 3.24. Oh. All right, you want to keep the same number of significant figures in um, your original number and in the number in scientific notation. So I have four and I still have four. Now I'm going to do my times 10. Now, how many times do I have to move the decimal to get it to look like that coefficient? So one, two, three, four, five. And because this beginning number was smaller than one, a very small number, it's a negative five, because negative means it was small. So there's your answer in scientific notation. All right, and then down below here, all right, so there's our first numbers that aren't zeros, so we've just put a little um, decimal behind that first one, so there's my first one, the, oops, the, um, the three, I'm going to put decimal behind the 3, so 3.24. Now, I don't want to carry all these zeros in my coefficient because I want to keep the same number of sig figs. So 3 sig figs, 3 sig figs. Okay, and then I'm going to do my times 10. Now, how many times do I have to move the decimal in my original number to get my coefficient? So my decimal's back here at the back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I moved it 6 times, and my beginning number was a very large number. So that means it was positive. So there you go.